Hi, it's Rachel from Let's Get Crafty. Today's episode is all how to make this adorable little altered box. Okay, so for today's altered project, uh, you're going to need some sort of tin that you can alter. This Dora the Explorer tin was purchased at my local uh, Dollarama store in the kids section. And it's just a cute little box that uh, you can hold lots of goodies in. Um, some sort of pattern paper. This is cut by four and a quarter and five and a half and then I used my corner punch here to round off the corners so it just fits um, nicely onto the tin can. Um, note that I've chosen um, colors for this particular uh, uh, tin that will uh, coordinate with the blue and red. Then I've gone ahead and used my Cricut um, and a baby bug and Hello Kitty cartridge to cut out a cupcake. So uh, I'll show you how to put this all together. So the first thing I'm going to do to decorate this birthday box is to just take my glue pen here and glue down the outside edge of this cupcake. I like to do this first before I cut out or actually assemble the inside colored pieces and it just helps me position those pieces better onto the cupcake. This is just the uh, first shadow, not the thicker one. Uh, so it ends up fitting the outer outline of the cupcake feature on the Cricut cartridge. And I'll just put the cherry on. So you can see how easy it is just to line, whoop, line everything up here so it fits into the cupcake here. And then I'm going to take the orange layer the top layer here, or sorry, actually it's the second layer, and put glue that in. And then I'm going to use this glue instead, <laughs> a little bit quicker, to do the red layer. And then, and the last layer here is the yellow that I'm just going to assemble in there. So I'll just use this glue here to help me with that. So there's the first step of developing a embellishment for our box. So just to give some depth to the uh, cartridge here, uh, or to the colored paper, I'm just going to take my Distress ink. It is uh, fire brick, and I'm just going to just lightly edge the outside. And I'll do the other piece as well. So the edging just brings kind of the everything all together nicely. There you go. So I have decided to use this uh, Inkadoo swirl stamp to embellish the container and what I've just gone ahead and done here is inked up with the essential glue pad and then I'm going to center this on here and push down making sure to get nice even coverage and <laughs> and then I'm going to take my Martha Stewart red glitter and just sprinkle that all on there like so.
and that just gives you a nice um, sparkly finish and I think that just adds a little bit here to the uh, cupcake. So the next step here is to put on the cover onto or the yeah the paper onto the tin. So all I'm just going to use is this uh, glue tape here to do that. So I'm just going to stick it on cover all the edges here and peel that off I'm going to center it up on to the tin and just fold it on there and you can see how nicely it fits and because I've chosen my pattern paper carefully it uh, really goes well with the tin. So now to embellish, I'm just going to add the dimensionals to the cupcake to put onto the box. So I just kind of spread them around just so that it does look like it's getting popped out from the box. So now I'm just figuring out the best position, whether to put it on an angle or to put it uh, straight down. I'm kind of leaning towards the angle piece. So I'm going to do that. And I'm looking at the cupcake right now and I think it needs a little bit of uh, excitement. So I'm going to get my glue pen and add some glitter. So as you can see I've just gone ahead and glittered and it just gives a little bit more dimension. I hope you enjoyed uh, this tutorial of the altered box, birthday box. Um, the sky's the limit in terms of how you can decorate these. Um, here's another one, a little Hello Kitty one that I thought could be used as a get well box or it could have been used as a Valentine's Day box. Um, but the sky's the limit with decorating. The key is, is just to choose pattern paper that matches the box. Otherwise, the other option you have is to just um, spray paint the boxes which makes it a little bit more work. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial all about how to make this altered box. So Thanks so much for joining me and uh, we'll see you soon.